In this video, we're going to take a look at the steps required to connect the ArcGIS Public Garden data model with um, a plant records database stored in Microsoft Access. Now, Access databases come in a variety of flavors. The older um, file formats, um, which end in .mdb, which uh, come from versions of Office 2003 and earlier, uh, can connect to ArcGIS without the need for any additional software. Uh, but in today's example, we're going to look at connecting one of the newer file formats um, from Microsoft Office 2007, 2010, 2013 uh, to uh, ArcGIS. So to do that, we need to download some software. So we're going to start by opening up our web browser and going to Microsoft.com. Once we're here, we'll go to Downloads and we'll go to the Download Center. In the search box, we're going to search for Office 2007 Connectivity. And it doesn't matter which version of Microsoft Office you're running. Um, to connect to one of the newer file format formats in ArcGIS, you need this 2007 version of the software. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the first uh, result here. And I'm going to download the Access Database Engine here. Go ahead and save that, and we'll wait for it to finish downloading. Okay, once it's done downloading, uh, in my particular web browser, I can just click on this to start it and open it. Um, you may need to navigate to the location that you saved it in to start the installation. Go ahead and accept the license agreement, hit next, and just go ahead and install that. Okay, once the installation is complete, we can close the resulting window and close our web browser. And then go ahead and open up ArcMap. Okay, and we're going to be working with some data from the Applewood Estate in Flint, Michigan. So I'm going to open up my Applewood Estate map. If you um, have a map saved um, with um, the plant center layer from the public garden data model in it, Go ahead and open that up. Uh, otherwise, you can open up a blank map document and open the uh, or uh, add the Plant Center feature class uh, to the table of contents. Okay, um, what we're going to do now to create the connection is to um, open up the catalog window, um, which you can do from this icon, or you may already have it open as a tab on the side, as I do. And um, I'm going to go to Database Connections. And we're going to add an OLE DB connection. Now, if the software um, installed properly, you'll now see a Microsoft Office 12 Access Database Engine OLE DB provider listed here. Um, if we hadn't installed that software, this option wouldn't be available, and we wouldn't be able to connect to one of the newer Access formats. Now, if you're um, access databases in uh, a MDB format, one of the older uh, access formats. You can use the Microsoft Jet 4.0 OLE DB provider to connect to that, and the steps should, should be exactly the same. But I'm going to connect to one of the newer formats, so I'm going to use this Office 12 one and hit Next. And then it says, Enter the data source. And for the data source, I'm going to go ahead and copy the location of that. I'm going to browse to where my plant records database is saved on my computer, which is in my documents folder here in our Applewood estate. And then um, I'm going to get, here's our plant records database here. I'm going to right click on it and get properties. And I can go ahead and copy the location here by selecting it. And then I can go back to Arc Map and paste that in there. And then I can also copy and paste the name of the file to create a complete path name here. Go to the end, put a slash, and then paste that in there. And then we'll do test connection to make sure that it worked. So it says that everything works. So that's great. So we'll hit OK. 
And I don't think we need to do anything on the advanced or the all tabs here. So I'll go ahead and just hit OK. And now we can actually create a link between our plant center feature class and the database. So what I'm going to do now is right click on our plant center layer. And I'm going to do go to joins and relates. And what I want to do in this particular case is create a relate. And it asks here, what is the field in this layer that we want to um, use to create the relationship? And that's going to be the plant center ID. That's the unique ID for each plant in the table um, that's generally made up of the accession number plus a qualifier that makes um, each plant within that accession unique. And then it says, choose a table or layer to relate to this uh, layer or load it from disk. So I'm going to go to Browse. And from the drop down, I'm going to go to my database connections. And I'm going to go to this new OLE DB connection that's here and hit Add. And then you'll see all the tables that are inside this access database. And for this particular database, I'm looking for the one called plant information. Your table could be named something different, but basically you're looking for the table that contains information on your plants um, and specifically contains a field that has the, um, the plant center ID in it, um, AKA the accession number plus some kind of qualifier to make it unique. So I'm going to hit add. And then it says, choose the field in this related table to um, base the relationship on. And in this particular case, I know that it's the accession ID field because that contains the accession number plus a qualifier. And it's in the same exact format that the data in our plant center ID is in. So it's going to use those two numbers to match up the records. And then it says, choose a name for the relate. I'm going to just call it plant records. And just for safety, I'm going to put no space in that. And then I'll hit OK. And it creates that relationship for us. And we don't really see anything in particular happening. But what we can do is use the identify tool and identify uh, a tree of interest. I'm going to click on this apple tree here. And it looks like I need to zoom in a little bit more. So I'm going to zoom into this orchard here. Okay, and once we're zoomed in, I'm going to go ahead and grab the identify tool and identify the plant that we're interested in. And we'll see that it's Malice Transcendent. I'm going to hit the little plus arrow, and you'll see all of the different tables that are related uh, through the data model. Now you can see that there's one called Plant Information here. And this is the name of the table that we just um, created the relationship um, to uh, from the plant records database. If we hit the plus next to plant information, it brings up the name of the plant. We click on that. And now here are all of the fields from our plant records database, which we can now see in ArcMap. Now these are read only. Um, you can just um, view these um, and not make changes to them. Um, but it is nice to be able to pull up the plant records uh, when you're in the GIS. So I'll go ahead and close this window. And that's it. That's how you um, create a relationship between uh, the public garden data model and an access database.